Well, the annual Bubula Praise Poetry will be taking place once again to give the youth an opportunity to use their creativity to engage by sharing praise, poetry and dialogues. It is 60 minutes long and consists of nine different poets. A number of scenes in the production promote the diverse genres such as history, poetry, storytelling and drama. Well, to tell us more, we are joined uh, by the organizer, uh, Busi Sosbia and Pindi Lesinda. And uh, yeah, they're going to share with us uh, about what we can expect. Ladies, thank you so much for coming through. Thank, thank you, you so much, much for having us. So I want to talk about the concept. Um, how did this concept come about to celebrate poets? Uh, so I met Ndogo Zondlo, who the founder of Bubu Leather Web Foundation, uh, about three months ago. And he told me about this initiative and I was so interested in joining because I'm very proud of where I come from. And I, uh, uh, I grew up... Uh, with my grandmother <laughs> and she taught me a lot about the Zulu culture and Shaga Zulu and everything. So I wanted to instill that in our children as well because I've noticed that a lot of kids in South Africa, some of them can't even speak their home languages. So that's why I decided to join them and do this ama amazing initiative. Yeah, um, it's interesting that she, she mentions Uguti, she wants to spread this, you know, more, especially to young people. A lot of young people are not interested in praise uh, poetry. A lot of people see it as uh, mm -hmm. What made you interested as such a young person? Well, Pearl, I believe that it is important as an individual to understand where you come from, to have a dignity of where you come from, your background is very important. And as a young person, I didn't take uh, praise poetry as something that is for fun, but it's something that dignifies me and identifies who I am and where I come from. And again, as a young person, I didn't take po uh, praise poetry as something that it should be for anything that is not, is not of good reason. But it's something that makes a person to understand where she or he comes from. Mm. What would you say is one of the most important aims of this Bubula uh, praise poetry? Uh, so we've realized that in South Africa, if you are on Twitter, if you are on black Twitter more especially, uh, we've realized that we're very divided as black people. And what we are doing as Bubula is bringing all the tribes together and saying umzulu but I can king a if mfundang is suit and was kulumi suit because I realized with myself when I moved to Jobek, being as little about the other tribes. And I, I couldn't even speak his Sotho. I can only speak his Tosa because it's as part of the Nguni languages. But other than that, I didn't know anything. So if we bring everyone together, then we can learn to respect each other and not think, okay, I'm Zulu and I'm better than everyone. So that's the aim. Let's talk about what the participants are bringing to this event. So the participants are, are going to be all doing praise poetry, obviously. And obviously when they do uh, praise poetry, they teach you about history as well. And and if you as a young person go to the bed center and you see this person who's Dwana and they're doing praise poetry in Dwana, when you move to places like Joburg, then you'll respect Dwana people and you won't and you won't think, oh, okay, since I'm Zulu and half of South African speak is Zulu, then I'm better than this person. Like, I think uh, that's the aim and that's what they're bringing as well. What has been uh, one of your favorite uh, praise poems? And can you give us a couple of lines? Yeah, <laughs> just to give us a taste of what's coming to Wubula. <laughs> okay, yes, uh, it's about uh, the uh, Ndebele king, that is Unzunza Numanala, from the same name of Masangu. We know as Masangu is the same name for the kings uh, from the traditional uh, Ndebele. Uh, yes, it's about how the king ruled and uh, he took the kingship to, the, to his sons and how he made the Ndebele uh, people to combine together. That's why they called him Unzunza Numanala. All right. Yes. Well, you'll be performing later on, so yes, we'll, we'll definitely do. get a taste of yes, what, we'll a taste. what's to come at the Bubula Poetry. Um, just to round it off, where can people get more information about what's going to happen and uh, just to encourage other young people to, to participate? Okay, so we are on social media. It's Bubula Poetry on Twitter and Instagram and Bubula Praise Poetry on Facebook. And I think people should come and learn about other cultures in South Africa because uh, I do don't want us to be close-minded. I'm not saying you're going there to look for marriage, but if, <laughs> if maybe... <laughs> if, <laughs> 
But if maybe you go there and you find that the Swana Praise poet is your favorite and when you meet that guy who's Swana, you'd be comfortable in dating them because at least you've heard <laughs> praises of their kings. So yeah, I think uh, people should come. And also, thank you so much to the SAPC for this platform and also to the Department of Arts and Culture for sponsoring this event and encouraging us to know more about our cultures. All right, fantastic. And now we just encourage young people. Okay, to the young people out there, I don't take poetry as something light because I take it as well as a calling and a gift that is from God that can open doors for you. It's not about anything that you must do for fun, but take it serious and it's doable, it's possible. It's, it's not all about the past generations that were able to do it because it is known that a poet is being dominated, praise poet is being dominated by men. But now even young people can get in there and just do it for a living, do it for themselves and be proud of themselves. It's it's, it's doable. It's possible. They can. Ah, oh, ladies, you guys are phenomenal. Thank you so much for making the time to come on the show. And thank, thank you so for all having us. So that was Nosfusi Sosbia, organizer of the event, and Pindile Sindane, and uh, an Isindebele poet she is. And they will be performing, well, she will be performing uh, just after the sports bulletin. Remember to share your thoughts uh, and views via our social media platforms. Our Twitter handle is at Morning Live SABC. On Facebook, it is Morning Live SABC. But we also have a WhatsApp number when you can send us a text message. And that number is 081 732